hashtag Sam Sales Consulting. How I got started is kind of the same way that everybody got started in sales. When I left LinkedIn in the fall of 2019, I had planned on taking some time off, but a ton of my clients reached out and said, we have no idea what we're doing with sales. We've always thought, what would Sam do? And we could really use your help. And 18 months later, here we are. I knew that starting a company was the right thing for me because after I got into working with some of my clients for, I think it was maybe even six weeks, I just knew it was right for the amount of positive impact we could make at scale. So instead of me just leading a team or leading a series of teams for one company, I could do a little bit of that for a bunch of different companies and really make a significant impact, not only in their organizations, but rep by rep and leader by leader. The most rewarding aspect of running a company is it kind of the things that you imagine in terms of running a company. So you really get to have authority over the direction, the creative direction of the company and the lines of business that we're going to open up. It's an incredible thing to think about all the things that you could achieve with a little bit more responsibility or a little bit more budget and then to just do those things. The other thing that I love about this, again, not only working with our clients and making all the positive impact, but one of the things that's unique about our company is that we almost exclusively employ military and expat spouses. So we are really about the idea of chasing your future dream and your bigger goal dream. I think one of the things I'll tell you about starting this company um, is that I get a ton of questions of how do you do it? So one, as an entrepreneur, you want to make sure that you can actually sell, right? So you want to make sure that the product that you're going to bring to market is something you can sell yourself and that you have the discipline and the process to be able to do that. The second thing and where I think a lot of our success has come from, honestly, is my having built a brand over the last five, six years. So I use LinkedIn as an incredible platform. I use Modern Sales Pros as an incredible platform to post in the forums and to talk about my expertise and all sorts of things on the speaking circuit as well to say, you know what, I know a couple of things about sales. I'd really like to share them with you. And then that's helped me build a brand as an expert in this space. Undoubtedly, that amount of time that I spent in building a brand over those last five or six years has paid off in spades in being able to have our business grow. One of the most important things in terms of being successful in sales is having a process. Now, I, I know that everybody thinks about, okay, we're going to build a scalable and a repeatable process, but you need to have a process for yourself of how you hold yourself accountable, not only in following through with the things that you've promised clients and that you've promised prospective clients, but also keeping your foot on the gas in terms of finding new business. So this also applies to anybody that wants to be an entrepreneur or that wants to start a business and scale it. The other thing that I would say is really think about your ability to be resourceful and to be conversational. So resourcefulness, I love to read a ton. I can think things about things in different ways. I can probably talk to you about almost anything to a certain degree anyway, quantum physics and you know advanced calculus, maybe not so much. But the other thing is I know how to have a conversation. I know how to ask questions. I know how to be a good active listener. And those are some of the differentiators that really make or break a successful salesperson. Final thing in terms of being successful at sales is to think about how to go above and beyond for your clients. So a couple of things that I do on our side at Sam Sales. Every single time we close a deal, we send a handwritten thank you note, always without fail. We also like to send swag and little things to our clients when it's unexpected. The other thing that I would say is think about how you can check in after you close the deal, even if you have no vested interest in their growth. That little differentiator for going above and beyond will set you apart from everybody else in their mind and will ensure they'll come back to you when they need you again or when they change jobs. I think that the future of the sales discipline is really going back to us being human. And I know that that seems kind of silly when we're talking about technology and scale and AI and machine learning and all that stuff. But when you really look at your decision makers who have been in the space for a long time, they're simply looking for people to make human connections and to really solve their challenges. So I think the future of the sales discipline in terms of being really effective thinks, yes, how do we use technology to scale and to be smart, but how do we use all of that data to then connect with humans at a human level and to make sure that we go again above and beyond in figuring out ways to solve not only the direct challenge that they brought to you but even the challenges that are around them with their other teams i'm trying to like take down the idea of personalization at scale everybody's talking about it and i'm like you cannot personalize at scale you must use your brain you can't be like sam fsu buy my crm platform My name is Samantha McKenna and I'm a modern sales
Sprout.